One timers here. We got Matt. I'm Justin. Let's break down Group E. Uh, we got Switzerland, Ecuador, France, and Honduras. A very interesting group indeed. Yeah, uh, Group E is probably the easiest group we've seen so far, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's not, no one really, if I'm, I believe it, Group F is matched up against them after this. I wouldn't, I mean, I'm not too nervous to whoever comes out of this group personally, but um, you have France, who, uh, kind of like, who knows how, which, what France team is going to show up. Right, yeah. They have some talent, uh, but they also might have some, some issues, not like with the coach, and who knows, not want to play, and I have some drama there, so uh, who knows the French. Uh, Ecuador, uh, I know they're not a young town, I'm not too familiar with them, but uh, there was a guy at my gym today wearing an Ecuador shirt, which <laughs> a lot of weights, but I don't know if that's good karma or not, but he was a big, strong guy uh, wearing an Ecuador jersey at the gym, so shout out to that guy. Um, <laughs> Switzerland, Switzerland uh, they got a lot of good chocolate. I know they play good defense. <laughs> And, uh, it's where FIFA's headquartered. I'm sorry? It's where FIFA's headquartered, too. Exactly, so I don't know if the fix is in, putting them in a <laughs> group. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to say anything is going to get in trouble with FIFA, but uh, you know, that might be something to worry about. And then Honduras, I know they gave the US, the U.S. some problem, but um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, Honduras is really, really good at home, and then they weren't as good away from home, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I do believe you you are correct there. Um, they beat USA one nil at home, but I, I do believe um, I forget what the score was when when the USA played them at home. But uh, Honduras at home was very good on the road, a little shaky. Um, Switzerland, I, I know we keep you know it's kind of funny we keep going back to the 2010 World Cup, and that was four years ago. Um, but Switzerland was the only team to defeat Spain. They beat Spain in the first game of the of the group stage, one 0 Obviously, Spain they went on oh, to win right. win the World Cup. So, you know, Switzerland is a very good squad. Ecuador, a uh, very young squad, as you mentioned, uh, playing on the on the home continent. And then France, a miserable 2010 campaign, but very different squad now, um, who's really playing. Uh, pretty well. Uh, I think things are starting to really click. Uh, they got obviously um, Giroud. Um, he's playing very well uh, up at the striker position. Um, uh, they had a in the Euro. I, I believe they, if I remember correctly, I believe they came out of the group as well as the as the two seeded behind England. Um, so I think there's a lot of talent with France. Um, Maybe not as much talent going on with when back in 06 when they when they lost in the penalty shootout to Italy, but I think this is a very dangerous French squad, um, and I'm kind of excited to see France back on the map because them and Italy were both absent in that 2010 World Cup, but I think both of them are, are back now, and I'm really excited to see what what France can really do um, in this group stage. Yeah, and, uh, when the French team is going, they're pretty fun to watch. I mean. Uh, Rivery is one of the best, better wingers there is. And it's kind of similar, like my issue with Netherlands. I mean, uh, Robin, uh, and Rivery both played all the way to the Champions League. They played all those. And they're, they're yeah. not, they're not, they're not young pups anymore. They're, they're getting a little older. So, uh, sort of all the miles they have on them and all these big games that keep going on. So, it's still, it's a pretty open group. Um, what does, the side note, looking up at looking at Honduras, I believe they they won at home and qualifying for for Concacaf. They were one one and three. They were one win, one draw, and three losses. At home, they were three and two. So huh. they had three wins, two draws, no losses. So um, a big difference there. Obviously, the World Cup is in Honduras, so that might not go well for them. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, I mean, to be completely honest, this group doesn't really excite me. It isn't the most exciting group. I mean, I'll still watch because it's a beautiful game and the World Cup. But um, if you had to make me choose, I think I think it's going to be pretty straight. Uh, France winning the group. Mm -hmm. I think Ecuador has a lot of uh, talent that I think so they will. I think they'll have some guys that we put on the map because of, because of the World Cup and make some big plays. So I think it'll be France and Ecuador. I, I like your France pick. I like your French pick. I got France winning the group. 
Um, it's, it is a little scary in a sense because they are kind of a, a, a very interesting squad as they rise up to play at some occasions and, and don't play very well on other occasions. Um, obviously, in the qualifying, they had to play the, 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 uh, the playoff in Europe. They played Ukraine. They lost 2 0 at Ukraine. Um, but then they came back and won 3 0 at home to end up winning 3 2 in aggregate to get to the World Cup. So it's kind of, I understand that's, you know, in Ukraine, so it's a little bit different because all the games here are on neutral sites uh, to, the, to the teams and in, in the Group E. Um, but I, I'm going to go with France. I Personally, I really think that Switzerland is a team that really everyone really knocks on. I, I mean, this is a very good squad. Um, but everyone, they think, I mean, I understand you, you, when you're, you you ranking everybody, because I believe they were, if I remember correctly, I think they were in pot one or pot a on, on the draw, but everyone, that's the, that's the group that everyone said the USA has to get into. Um, I understand that Switzerland's not as big as a name as Brazil, Spain, Germany, those squads, but this is still a very fundamentally, uh, disciplined squad that can play some very good, very good soccer. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take France to win the group. I'm actually gonna take the Swiss to get out as, as uh, the number two squad. Uh, it's definitely an interesting uh, kind of similar to the group we saw with Greece. They Switzerland plays a little similar style. They look to uh, execute well on set pieces mm -hmm. and uh, uh, play men behind the ball and be smart when they push forward. Uh, according to my stats, it looks like here. Uh, Switzerland scored five of their 17 goals on corner free kick, and they also were undefeated in their qualifying. So those are some things that uh, those are some things that uh, could bode well, and also because uh, of those things they can replicate. But also, uh, you got to make sure you execute those um, in the big moments. So uh, I could see Switzerland moving out. I mean, I also could see France not getting a point. Who knows? So <laughs> That's true. I'll, I'll, Especially after the last, what happened in the last, last World Cup. But it should be, should be a solid group. It should be a solid group. Yep. So I'm, I'm taking France and Switzerland. You got France and Ecuador. Uh, we'll take a look at Group F in just a moment. <laughs> 